Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some cookies from Rolling Pin Company. We have never heard of these before. We found these at Christmas tree shops uh, when we traveled to uh, Ohio. Christmas tree shops, we actually have a location in Florence, Kentucky, and we had never been there before. So, and I've never seen these, this company before. Uh, they were $2.99 a box. We have the birthday cake, the chocolate chip. Uh, salted caramel, oatmeal raisins, and uh, double chocolate chip. Okay. And they the, don't feel very heavy though. They all say new. Yeah, I, I do have to say, the Christmas tree shop, it was fun, but I wouldn't say necessarily say it was a cheap store at all. Uh, there it's was, not like Big Lots or something like that. No, it's not. It, I mean, they have fun things, and I don't think they were it really expensive, but for the grocery part of things, I, the grocery part of things were, were kind of pricey, honestly. Um, these are all peanut free, which is gonna please a lot of people. I didn't even realize that until just now. That's great. Oh my gosh, they're babies. Um, let's say mini, mini, mini. Mini cookie bites, yeah, that's what they are. Let's see, it says on the front, there are 22 calories a cookie. It says it right there. Um, That's what we figured out already. Yeah, uh, birthday cake <laughs> sprinkles. Ooh, they smell wonderful. I'm trying to see where they're made. Distributed by Rolling Pin Baking Company in New York, New York. Let me just stick this back in there. They smell uh, like a vanilla. strong vanilla, yeah. yes. Are these the ones you got? That's a good vanilla flavor. That's really good. And the package, you get some in there. I don't know that it's worth $3 necessarily, but they're really good cookies. I think it's very, yes, I like it. I mean, you don't get a ton. Well, you know what? I'm gonna dump all these out just to let you see what you get. Hold on. You can dump the whole bag out on that little plate. All right. Well, it says there's five servings of six cookies. Six cookies. Look, six get, cookies were 130. You get quite a bit of cookies for three dollars. Yeah, these are. Uh, this says five servings, and it says six cookies. So 30 cookies. Uh, six cookies is 140 calories of the chocolate chip. I don't know. I just think I think three dollars is a lot to pay for a little box of cookies, but you do get quite a few. Yeah. So. You did get quite a few. I'm gonna go ahead and eat one while we've got them out here. I put crumbs all over the plate now. I like the texture on them too. They're crunchy without being like hard. Mm -hmm. The chocolate chip is very nice. Yeah, I like typical the, chocolate chip. Green. Yes, I would. Um, mm -hmm. Liken that to a Chips Ahoy. Um, yeah, think, they're not as hard as a Chips Ahoy. Not, the flavor is very, very the similar. The flavor is very, very similar to a Chips Ahoy. I actually like the texture of these more. Oh, yeah, better, because Chips Ahoy for us has always been kind of hard. <laughs> and these are a little bit thicker. Yeah. They're small, but they're thicker. You don't get, um, I just wanted to let you know, you don't get like a really rich buttery flavor from them. They don't have like a buttery flavor, like a shortbread or anything like that. It's just your typical it's just crunchy a regular cookie. Cr crunchy chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. You're um, right though, when you say chips away, they're very, very similar. The, the, flavor. the flavor is very similar. This is salted caramel. That only counts as one. It does. They're stuck together. That's my rule. Yeah, if they're stuck together. Only counts for one. <laughs> um, all of these are 130 calories for six, except for those chocolate chip, and they went to 140 calories for six. I don't know why. Mm. That surprises me. You would think like, Ooh, yum. You would think like oatmeal raisin would be more. Is this for me? Mm -hmm. mm, I really like that one. That one almost does seem like it has a butteriness to it because of the, because of the, the caramel. Is it salted caramel? Oh, it is salted caramel. Okay. That's very nice. I think it's the salted caramel kind of gives it a buttery kind of flavor. Mm-hmm. That's really good. That's my favorite one. I'm even left with a little salty flavor in my mouth. You know what, though? Over. I'll be honest. If I was blindfolded, I would say that's a butter cookie. I would not have said caramel if I was blindfolded. I got a little bit of the caramel. 
yeah see i didn't i didn't in my cookie i didn't necessarily taste caramel but i really do like the butter mm -hmm. quite a bit the That's butter and the salt. salt yes the butter and the salt uh, and it's a nice sweet cookie i like it very much mm -hmm. um, it's very good I, I don't know that it beats that birthday though. Oh yeah, because I, like I really like the birthday. As much as I like like vanilla ice cream cookie wise, I like other flavors. Yeah, you for do. me the salt of caramel like hits all the buttons. This is the oatmeal raisin, and it was turned sideways just like that in here. Mini cookie bites, the best things in life come sweet. That's what we think. Now, uh, some this, of them don't have raisins in them. Like that one doesn't have a raisin. It says they have raisins and still cut oats. Uh, baked with sustainable palm oil. It's www.rollingpinco.com. Not all of them have raisins though. I just have to say that. Mm. Good oatmeal flavor though. Mm -hmm. And cinnamon. It's cinnamon out there. Yeah. But I do like it a lot. So the only thing the raisin, the raisin does add some flavor though. If you get a raisin, if you didn't get a raisin, you would still get a really good oatmeal cinnamon cookie. It doesn't say cinnamon, it says spices. But it's trust me, it's oatmeal cinnamon. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think that was very successful. Very, very good. It's, it's since these are mini cookies, it's not like it's going to have six raisins you know in the cookie. you're not going to get a lot of raisins no but like, when you do it has a nice chewiness yeah. as raisins do and uh i like the uh the texture of the oatmeal um that's nice i i have to say i'm very pleasantly surprised with the quality of this did you think they were going to be a cheap cookie i did I'm just going to be honest. I, I saw them and I thought, you know what? I've never seen this brand before. That's me judging on something that I knew nothing about. I thought I've never seen these before, never heard of them before. And they're going to be cheap cookies that I paid $3 a box for. And I'm really, really surprised. They're very good. Mm -hmm. This is double chocolate chip, uh, but they're mint. Mm -hmm. Are they mint? No, they're not mint. I they're not mint. I don't know why I said mint. still mini. I saw mini. No. The, the, just double chocolate mint. chip. I don't know why I said Well, that. and usually in those color boxes, they usually do go mint. It's my mind, yeah. Um, that's good. If you like a, a, a darker chocolate flavor, not bitter, bitter, like mm -hmm. really bad bitter, but it does have a stronger chocolate flavor. Yes. I think, I think they're, they meet those expectations perfectly. I like those, and there's there's a people out there that will love these because mm -hmm. they really do have they do taste like double chocolate. They're missing some sweetness though, aren't they? Yes, for me these are out of all of them. This is the least sweet. This somebody has to come in last. This is the one that's yeah. going to come in last. That's no judgment on the quality though of the cookie or the flavors even. No, because I'm telling you these are very good cookies. I'm I, like I said, I'm surprised. Um, so this is my favorite. I should not have been judgmental in my mind over them. Um, my favorite's the salted caramel. Um, mine's gonna be the birthday. Really? Then, and then I pick oatmeal, probably. No. Okay, my top three: birthday, salted caramel, and oatmeal raisin. I would probably just switch the first two, the the caramel and the birthday. Mm -hmm. Those would be my top two. Yeah, but and the chocolate chips really, I mean, excellent cookie. It's very good. It's just that it's plainer. Uh, the the flavor of the chocolate chip. It's just a chocolate chip. Whereas these have more things: the vanilla, the caramel. That you've got the cinnamon and the oatmeal. These just have more going on. These are just plainer on the end, but they're all very good. So, so I'd be curious if you have these in your stores because we yes. don't get these anywhere in our area. No, in our we'll probably grocery never store. see them again in our area. So if you do get these in your area, I would be curious of two things: if you liked them, and yeah. second, how much are they usually? Yeah, are they normally two ninety nine a box? And do they have other flavors? Like, do they have a lemon? Uh, because it just seems like they have all these flavors. It seems yeah. like most companies that do cookies like this have like a. A lemon or, or a, a well, raspberry, a strawberry, sugar. something, you know, some berry flavors. Um, 
Uh, so yeah, it would be interesting to know about that. They're, but I do think the two ninety nine. Now that I've had them, I do think they're it's a fair price. It is because I was expecting just like Hanny said, uh, we were expecting like store brand cookies. Yes. That normally you pay a dollar for at the Dollar Tree or something yes. like that, and they're not that kind of cookie. No, they're actually really good quality cookies. So yes, they are worth three dollars a box, um, and you do get six servings if you are if you divide it out or five servings. Sorry. Um, so. I'll have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.